Well guys, I just filmed a whole video of nothing. <laughs> Basically with these, it's actually, it's a pain in the ass because you got to desolder each one of these caps. I've actually already replaced that one. But which, which basically what you do is you find them on one side. The last one I got left is this one. So I put my finger on it back here. And I find out which pins those are. Looks like it's this one. And then you just kind of tweak from the other side. All right, so basically you just heat up each side and kind of rock it out. And then, once you got it out, where'd that go? You go back with your soldering braid. And you get the rest of the solder out of it. So it can be a pain in the ass. I hate desoldering circuits from boards, but I really wish I got the rest of that video. That sucks. I was literally filming nothing. Forgot to hit the, the record button. But at least I noticed it now. Um, what I did find out whenever you buy these kits, apparently I bought I bought the kit. And then I bought this, the C14 resistor, uh, the C14 capacitor. Apparently the kit I bought actually came with a C14 capacitor, so I have one extra. Not a big problem. So anyways, uh, I've only got one of these. This is C100 or C201. So I know, I know because I've been already looked at it, but C100 is what I have. So I look over here. And C100 is this one. Remember the longer leg is the positive. Stick it in there like that. Come back here, bend these out. And solder. trim off your legs and I, I do have a pair a smaller pair of these I ordered on Amazon I'm gonna come back and trim all these legs off the ones that are just still got quite a few on here that are extra long all right, and the other ones, C24. And C24, this one. Positive on this side, negative over here. And 
since that one's close, I'm just going to go ahead and do that one too. C21. It's one of these. Positive over here. Negative over here. Do that every time. 